What's up, everybody? This is an episode of Smoking the Truth with your boy, King Oz. And Orlando Flow. If you guys like what you're about to watch, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, hit that notification bell. <laughs> share on Facebook. Share with your friends. Man, share with the whole family. Look, tell share, them that, share with the world. Tell them that you got two pretty boys making some beautiful content for the whole world. Beautiful. And guys, we have a very, um. what can I call this big topic? How you can treat yourself better. Better. Better, better. We're going to talk about the simple things, actually. It's not like even so complicated things, you know? They're not really complicated as all, at all. As long as you get it into repetition and you make yeah. it something that's more consistent in your daily life, it could help you boost and make your mental state and whatnot even better. And that's like, people get so frustrated each day. Oh, man, I need to wake up and go to the gym. I need to go every day and eat right. I need to do this and that and then that. They just become saying they just say things. They don't they don't really commit actual commit to themselves, you know? Absolutely not. And that makes that makes me sick, you know, sometimes, you know, like even myself, I'm not even judging anybody. I'm saying myself, like when I say I'm gonna go do this, but <laughs> I don't do nothing. You know? Most definitely. I don't treat myself the way I'm supposed to treat myself. You know, you don't get yourself, you know, a healthy meal. You're not getting enough sleep. I'm not. I'm not even like. I don't look. Preparing yourself a meal, like you just said, making a good, decent meal. You know, is the one of the number one ways. You know, to help boost yourself. Exactly. Healthy stomach, healthy digestive tract is a healthy person. You know, when you eat trash, and you like, oh, I feel nasty. Especially after the that. next day, Taco Bell or something like that goes. Bro, it's one of those things that you just like. I don't know why I feel so nasty. I feel like uh, I feel like my, my I don't feel good. I feel like you're about to explode inside because you're eating so much trash. Sometimes you know fast food places, all these restaurants, man. Now I'm not gonna lie. No matter who you are, he's lying. <laughs> no matter who you are, you need sleep, regardless of the fact. One day you're gonna burn yourself out too dry from not getting enough sleep. You're going to wish you had time to sleep. It's because, that's exactly, sleep, yo. Sleep is so important. Mm -hmm. So, like, you know when, I don't know for you, but for me, sometimes, let's say I had a day that I just, I'm so tired. Yeah. And I just didn't sleep enough, but I would have to wake up at work, you know? And I'm looking around, and I'm like, ah, oh, man, I'm so tired, man. And, like, I'm angry. And I'm, like, got frustrated. Yeah, because you're not getting that well balanced diet or that extra little bit of sleep that you need. Like, like I said, <laughs> I like, start fighting with people, Stephen. Hold on, I start fighting with people for no reason. Let Let me put it to you in this perspective. It's so crazy. Billionaires boy. like Jeff Be Bezos, Elon Musk, all these people, they make time for sleep. They make the time for sleep because, to, in order to have a healthy and active brain, you need at least eight hours of sleep. How about this? Don't go too over on sleep because we're going to make a special video just on sleep. Just to let them know the benefits of sleeping, bro. The benefits. The benefits of sleeping. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot in it. It's a Please lot in it. And it's ridiculous the amount of people that I see through social media. Even like unplugging yourself through the social media is a way of taking care of yourself. Yeah, most definitely. Especially, with, with, especially with today's day and age. Like. We live in the digital era, bro. I'm sorry, but we live in the digital era when we just watch Instagram. We, we watch Christian. and dream. But sometimes those dreams don't become reality because you don't take the initiative for it. Facts. But the first thing you do in the morning, what do you do in the morning? Why everybody does in the morning? It's pick up the phone. I mean, give or take, it depends on the day. I mean, if, you know, if, if I'm waking up, I'm getting myself ready for the day. My phone is... You don't touch Some, your phone. So you hold on, hold on. So you trying to tell me that you don't touch your phone as soon? So not as soon as I, if I. So if my phone does sit right next to me, you lying. You're phone, lying. No, phone, no, you lying. You lying. My phone sits right. No, well, if my phone is sitting right next to me, I'll pick it up for a second, look and see if I got any notifications. And if I do, if I don't, set my phone down, take care of my day, go take a shower, go eat something real quick, and then I go to my my. So my you you don't go through Instagram, check what's been on on last night. You Not as soon as I get up. Facebook, hey, what happened with the ladies? And you know what I'm saying? Not exactly as soon as I wake up. The bus it down challenge going on. You don't check none of that stuff. You not 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 directly in the morning. No, when I get myself more awake, 
I believe you. All right. I'll let you it, slide. It, it, I'll it, let it, you it, slide it, for this one. It's easy. It, it don't sound. He, it sound like he's faking it now, but it's okay. I'll let you slide. It's true. But for anybody who wake up and actually just go through social media yeah. and just spends like thirty minutes of the day just looking social media, take it a break. It's the, that's that's that's. I mean, I definitely do. That's like, the main thing. I don't. That's the main thing. I don't hate social media, but I don't like social media at the same time. Like it's a love and hate. <laughs> like, you know, it's a, it's a foreground for you to get yourself out there and, you know, really take part in what you really love to do and show people that you love it. But like I said, like we've talked about in the past, it's blown out of perspective with with, with social media. It's taking a whole nother proportion. It's taking a whole nother proportion. Yeah. But not only that, man, we have the people who you surround with, man. The people who you surround with is how you treat yourself. In a Most way. definitely. A hundred percent. I feel as if, you know, if you're treated like garbage you're gonna feel like garbage you know people some people let me tell you something some people don't bring the best out of you no they don't no bring the worst out you and they're hurting you Mm -hmm. most definitely they're hurting you bro and when they hurt you just because you're hanging out with people that don't bring the best out of you you just gotta cock ties man cock ties cut them out of your social media don't keep it on your instagram don't keep it on your facebook don't keep it on your youtube be the bigger person to realize this. This, this person is not the best for me, and we're doing bad stuff together. Then be like, "Hey, bro, look, we're toxic for each other." I appreciate you for your time. I appreciate you for coming hang out with me. For but, being you know, the person that you're doing, but you know, there's certain little bit of boundaries that's kind of messing with my own life. Being around you, it's like I gotta do what my I gotta bro. do. You still my bro. You can hit me up, but right now I don't want anything with you. Just like that. Makes sense. You know what I mean? And it's, that's just a few things how to treat yourself, man, guys. Like, it's so important how to treat yourself. It's so, like, valuable. If you don't know how to treat yourself, it's over, man. If, if you can't treat yourself, you can't treat another person. Facts. Right there. Tell me how you're going to take care of other people. You can't. It's hard. It's hard. <laughs> it is. Most definitely. It becomes hard, you know? If you don't know how to take care other people, how are you gonna take care of anything? Your job, your life, your, your lifestyle, family. your family, your, whatever, your dog, anybody, man. This is guys. Think about it, man. Sleep, how you how you surround yourself with other people, how what you eat, you know, it's valuable, man. Look th- look at those things like, I don't know what you like, a expensive cars. I don't know whatever you guys like. Look at those things more than that because they make who you are at the end of the day. Yeah, they do. They do the make thing, it the things you do make every who you day, are, bro. They yeah. make who you are, and it's sad. But you can to see also like that. you can also make who you are too. Like you, you shouldn't just let you know. Let's just say if you're becoming famous or whatever like that. Don't let that fame get to your head. No, 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 no. no. That's gonna stray you away from who your true self is and stuff like that. You, I know people do change when they get in that life. You know. And they actually have yeah. different perspectives in life because they've gotten to a certain point. It's it's one of those things, man. You know, the fame is one of those things that you can show off on Instagram if you're, fam- you're famous, but in real life, are you really th- about it? <laughs> are you really that life? That's what I that's what I go about. You know, are you really that life, man? And also, one last thing I want to mention: plan out your day. Most definitely. Plan out your day, bro. Plan what you're going to eat. Plan how long you're going to sleep. Uh, plan how long you're going to stay on your phone. Plan on how long you continue with your, your ambitions and activities. Plan it out. Plan it out. It's so it's so crucial, bro. Like, I know we're young. Or you, what I know, you know, we're all young. Most people that watch us are young people. So, you know, it's crucial to know how many hours you're investing in the video game, on the football game, on, you know, the piano classes, whatever you do. I'm not going to lie, when I was younger, probably half of my day spent on video games. <laughs> but I did I did continue working. Even even, even at a young age, I was always working. It's it's one of those things, bro. Man, I wish somebody told me early, you know? Yeah. Be like, hey, get up the game a little bit. Read this. Read, read this book, you know? Like, yeah. I, I do say, I don't mind reading, but I, I, I find it hard to pay attention to it. The beauty of today, bro, let me tell you something. Have audiobooks. Watch a documentary. Like picking up a book, you don't have to know. That's an option. I, I'm old school. Yeah. I, I sit down because it brings me peace, bro. People might listen to book. Okay, you can listen to a book. 
But I'm not saying there's ways to get this knowledge. You just have to, you know, like who say uh, Elon Musk. The information's out there. Either you take it, somebody's coming take it, right? Most definitely. Either you're gonna be hungry enough to pick it up or not. That's absolutely true facts. Hey guys, be another episode of Smoking the Truth Podcast with your boy. King Oz. And Orlando Flo. If you guys like what you just heard, please like, share, and subscribe. Also hit that notification bell. Guys, we love you. Stay safe. And make sure you wear your masks. Make sure you treat yourself the way you're supposed to treat yourself. Just remember, inauguration's right around the corner, so everybody stay safe. You better stay home. <laughs> We're watching y'all. Bye. Rose. Rose.